we're gonna start right here. This is like the pit and starting grid. We're gonna take off this way. We're gonna be weaving through the field over here and then we'll head off into the woods. Welcome race fans. We have our second annual Go Power Sports 180 mini bike race on November 12th at 10 a.m. So I'm going to invite you out to the Go Power Sports Ranch, which is located at 538 FM 52 in Grayford, Texas. Now this is an endurance race because it's 180 minutes of nonstop adrenaline action. It's gonna be some rough terrain. We have three different classes that'll be racing. We have the full suspension mini bikes, the hardtail class, and the junior class. The junior class will start right at 10 a.m. That's going to be a much shorter track for our younger audience. All right, so now we have a list of rules. It's only one mini bike per team. That mini bike can be full suspension or hardtail, depending on which class you want to race in. We'll all race at the same time in one main event, except for the junior race, which will happen before the main event. This is a pull start, engines only, four stroke, and outlaw engines are allowed. 10 inch rim max. There can be no gears. You have to have a handlebar kill switch. $20 race entry and every rider must sign the GPS 180 waiver. Now as far as riders, everyone must wear a helmet, long sleeve jersey, long pants, and shoes or boots that cover the ankle. Visors and chest protectors are recommended. So as we go over our terrain, it starts over here in the pits, and this is where everyone is going to have to pull start their engine, Le Mans style, hop on their bike, and just send it. So we start here at Dragon's Tail. Now, Dragon's Tail is a little bit windy, but it's to help get everyone sorted out at the start of the race. Right from Dragon's Tail, we're going into Sherwood Forest. Sherwood Forest, we go up a hill. And then after up the hill, we go back into Sherwood Forest part two. It's gonna be extremely rocky terrain, so it is gonna be definitely hard for our hardtail folks, but it can definitely be done. After Sherwood Forest two, we've got Camel's Back. Now this is going to be a steep incline and a steep decline right after, right after Sherwood Forest two. Straight after Camel's Back, we go straight into Pucker Up Buttercup, which is also going to be pretty rocky. From there, we go down the power lines into Power Stretch. And after Power Stretch, we go into Hogland. And it all starts over again. So that concludes our Go Power Sports 180 promo. Got one question for you. Do you have what it takes? 